good eye body coordination exercises uh, like with the tennis ball. Uh, working juggling is a remarkably good exercise. Let me just show you if I can find it. Uh, stand by half a sec. I'll see if I can show you something interesting. So there is a there is a training tool uh, which is uh, used in boxing uh, a lot recently, and it's uh, they sell them in uh, in like resorts. It's a uh, it's a ball attached to a string. Hold on, ball attached to a string, uh, and the idea is for you to hit it. But you hit it when it's attached to a thing sitting on your head. Uh, it's, uh, it's very good for hand-eye coordination. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, I got it on Amazon. Uh, they, they rip you off when you buy them. But uh, it's a very good tool. And about three minutes training on it in the beginning will give you hours of frustration afterwards. But it certainly develops hand-eye coordination, and the ball does whack you on the nose when you don't move correctly. Uh, I forget what it's called. Uh, it's not powerball. It's something else. Uh, speed, uh, it's not speedball. Uh, I'll look it up and I'll I'll send the uh, the message to the group uh, so you guys can have a look at this. Uh, so juggling, uh, bouncing the ball off the wall, or if you're working with a partner, I do it with my kids. It's uh, remarkably annoying uh, how how I fall apart when. The other person throws the ball, but not at you directly, but it bounces off the wall. Yeah, so you kind of need to deal with the movement initiated by someone else and then adjust it again by the wall. Uh, great exercises, and you can get the family involved, right? My kids don't want to learn about fighting, but they're certainly very happy to embarrass me by making me miss the ball. So, so that's another one for coordination. Uh, can doing pull-ups be added to the four basic exercises in the system? The, base, the four basics are push-ups, squats, uh, sit-ups, and leg raises. Push-ups, squats, sit-ups. Uh, that's uh, Sit-ups and leg raises are kind of uh, in the same league. I, I would call them one exercise. But uh, uh, the question about pull-ups, most enthusiastically, definitely, yes. Uh, most body weight exercises are good. Uh, pull-ups are fantastic. Uh, <laughs> the pull-ups also, uh, it doesn't, like it doesn't have to be just the pull-ups. Anything can be done with systemic principles. Before we used to say to people who are inexperienced, you don't need to go to the gym and lift weights. Uh, I will say to you, you can go to the gym and lift weights if your purpose is something other than vanity. I just want a six pack man, it's the beach season. If you want practical functional strength, your PT will put together a very different program for you, which, is, uh, which will not isolate muscle groups, but rather get them to work together, building uh, effective or efficient uh, anatomic trains. I don't know if it's the right word or not. Uh, kettlebells are a remarkably good tool, which teaches you how to use big muscle groups efficiently and correctly because kettlebells will punish you with an injury if you don't do things the right way, right? Uh, so our regular exercises is all you need, but you can go further uh, and get more specific for endurance. You know, we have different muscle fibers, right? Uh, we have the fast twitch, the slow twitch, uh, or rather easily accessible and easy activated fast twitch fibers, uh, which you can use for a sprint or to deliver a series of five or six strikes. Then the, uh, the cells run out of energy. The energy, they have enough energy, the fast twitch cells have enough energy for two, three seconds. Uh, and they're relatively easy to activate with a, a connection from the brain to those cells. Then we have the slow twitch fibers, which uh, require slightly bigger channels and are a bit harder to activate. And they're the ones that give you endurance. And then there are other cells, the white, the white cells uh, rather than the red which take even bigger effort to activate. This is the, uh, the static uh, or the very slow dynamic exercises that we do that develop the white cells. But then even after that, when that juice runs out, you still have the, uh, the miracle cells. This is, this is uh, the stuff that's almost inaccessible to human beings, uh, usually. 
Cheers. This is the stuff that helps people lift the cars uh, when their child is under. Uh, to send the signal to those cells is uh, more difficult. Uh, and to, to, teach, to teach you to access them uh, is, a, is a long path. But it's done through uh, asymmetrics. Through, you know, the exercise with the rope with the belt I showed you? If you do this honestly and correctly with correct recovery time, you will uh, be able to build not just those reserve cells, superhuman power, but you also build the big pathways that will allow the signal to get through. Because the brain is also lazy and the brain will also say, oh, I've tried this, I want to give up now, right? We all experience this during the press ups, or especially the slow press up. We all sorts of beautiful ideas go through our mind to justify why we should not finish the long press up, right? Uh, but uh, if we manage to teach this, to send the signal here, to do the miraculous thing, down the pathway which is wide enough the pipe uh, then uh, we can get there and this is the asymmetrics uh, we can talk more about asymmetrics later uh, it's it's a remarkable tool but uh, let us move on so uh, Fahad yes doing pull-ups is a great thing and you can do them at a variety of speeds and a variety of grips yeah so like this like a thumb here thumb here, thumb here, grips like this, wide, narrow, wide, like this. Climbing trees is a, is a good thing for pull-ups. Um, 